Hi Year 4, this is your fifth maths lesson and today we're going to be investigating change. Our success criteria will be, will be the ones that we have used previously in the week and we will be focusing heavily on rucksack. So we will be reading the um, number sentence, underlining the important informa information, choosing the right operation, solving it, answering the question and then checking whether we've answered it correctly. Okay, so if you look over here, there's a number, uh, there's a problem and it says Mrs. Khalil has £20 in her purse. She buys milk for £2.69, bread for 82p, some lamb for £6.37 and two packs of oranges for £2.50. What is her change? Right, so there's quite a lot to do here. So the first thing Rucksack says, I need to read it, <coughs> excuse me, I've read it, I now need to underline the important information. So I've got £20 in my purse, I've bought milk, bread, lamb and two packs of oranges which come to £2.50. Right, so what I need to do is add all those items together. So the first thing I'm going to add together is the oranges. Because I know that £2.50, add £2.50 is £5. Okay, the next thing I can do, <coughs> excuse me, is add £6.37 to £5. So, £6.37 add five pound remember decimal place always stays in the same place okay so seven add nothing is seven three add nothing is three decimal place stays in the same place six add five is eleven it's the last number so eleven pound thirty seven so far with my lamb and two packs of oranges i've spent eleven pound thirty seven and now it says i've also bought some milk and some bread. So what I do with the £11.37 is add, I add 82p and £2.69. So what I do here is I write £11.37 add, I'll add the milk first, make sure it's in the right place. I think I've squashed it there for you. £2.69. Okay, I add this together. So 9 add 7 is 16. 6 goes there, 1 on the doorstep. 6 add 3 is 9, add 1 is 10. So 0 goes there, decimal place in the right place, 1 in the next column. 2 add 1 is 3, add the 1 is 4. And then 1 add nothing is 1. Okay, I've spent so far £14 and 6p. And now I need to add the bread for 82p and I add that to this value here. I'm running, out, I'm running out of room so I'll go on the next page. So it's £14.6 add 82p. So £14.6p add, so it's not a pound, it's pence, so it's all go after the decimal place, 82p. And then I'll add that together. So I know 6 add 2 is 8. Nothing add 8 is 8. Decimal place there. 4 add nothing. That makes it easy for you. you can put some zeros there. 4. 1 add 4. 1 add nothing is 1. My total is £14.88. So if I go back to the question. It says Mrs. Cole has £20 in her purse. And I have spent... £14.88. If we think about our learning, if I've spent £14.88 and I've got £20, what am I doing? I'll be taking away. So, let's start over here. So I've got £20. Take away £14.88. Right, this is where I need to remember all the learning that we've done this week. 
Okay, so we've done column and, um, subtraction, then we did column subtraction with exchanging. Right, zero take away eight, we can't do. We need to borrow from the next, well, exchange from the next column, we can't do. We can't exchange from the other column, so we need to go with the last number. So what we do is we exchange from here, that becomes a one, this becomes a 10. Okay, we then exchange from this column, we take one away, that becomes a nine, this becomes a 10. And then lastly, I then exchange from here, that becomes a 9, and this becomes a 10. So, 10 take away 8, that is 2. 9 take away 8, that is 1. Decimal place goes here. 9 take away 4 is 5. And then 1 take away 1 is nothing. So my answer here is £5.12. Okay, so if I go back here and it says solution, I write five pound twelve. Okay, and then the second activity you have to do is you need to tell me how we make five pound twelve p. So what coins can we use? What notes can we use? And if you look at your sheet, you've got quite a, diff a range of change possibilities that you can use. Okay, so I'll go through one example and you can do the rest on your own. And now for all of those who think Mrs. Kalul has done the answer for you, I have changed the, the numbers. Okay, so you need to work this out on your own. And if you're struggling, maybe ask, a, uh, ask your parents or your siblings to help. And if that's not worked, just pop me an email and I'll happily assist. Right, let's go back to our presentation. So we've got £5.12. How can I make £5.12? So the easiest way is if I use a £5 note. And then 12p can be made by a 10p and a 2p. That makes £5.12. If you would prefer to write the numbers, so if you want to do £5.12, Add 10p, add 2p, that is fine as well. Okay, let's think of another way. How can we make £5.12? Hmm, maybe let's break up the £5. Okay, so we know a £5 is made by a £2 coin. Add another £2 coin, so that's £4. Add £1 is £5. And then how can we make 12p? Well, we can go for the 10p and the 2p. So there's lots of different ways on how we can make um, the change. Have a go and um, upload it on Purple Mash uh, and let me know how you're doing. Right, stay safe and take care. Bye now.